Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Hey, uh, today's finally the day I've been waiting for for the last six weeks, and I finally got the kingpin seals. And if you're wondering what fourth times the charm means, um, I ordered these kingpin seals like six weeks ago from a company out of Canada. And after a month of waiting, I called them and they said they're still on back order from Japan. So I canceled the order. Um, then I ordered them from another part supplier, uh, like Nissan Parts Direct or something like that, who claimed they had them in stock, said that I should be able to get them in like three days. This is two weeks ago. And uh, after waiting for about 12 days, I called them and said, hey, what's going on? Like, oh, these things are on back order. So I had to cancel that order. So then I found the part number on eBay and I ordered them from a Nissan dealership in Olympia. And they're like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, we don't have these in stock because somebody else ordered them at the exact same time that you do. They're gonna be on back order for two weeks. So luckily I called Nissan of Tacoma and uh, they found a couple of them and actually ordered them for me and I got them in two days. So uh, they are these guys right here. So if anybody's wondering the model number, that is the model number 402903 p 0 and I've got the king pins kind of cleaned up sorry lighting's bad it's like four o'clock in the morning here so king pins are greased up um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the seals put in there and dropped into the car so let's dive in got a few more things to fix as well so I'm going to be doing a little bit of rust repair when I took the struts out and took the strut tire bar off. There's a little bit of rust in these areas here. So I still have to finish getting that painted and kind of scuffed down to the bare metal again. Be kind of lazy and unmotivated. I should have done this like two months ago, but I didn't have those kingpin seals, so I couldn't find the motivation to get this work done. So uh, that's my bad, I guess. And I don't know about you guys, but on a night like tonight, when I'm this excited, I've been waiting for six weeks for this part. I think I'm going to have myself a beer. Got my kegerator out here in my garage. In close proximity to my car. So when I'm working on hard projects like this, I can treat myself. Cheers. So I've got these upper control arms spaced out to the exact length as the factory ones. So at least each side will match until the alignment gets done. And I decided to use the original factory mounting hardware because I think it looks like it's nicer than the aftermarket AMS stuff. Well, here's a look at that upper control arm installed. I cut because I was having trouble getting that uh, control arm to slip into that control arm mount. So I turned the camera off because I was wiggling it in and hitting it with a hammer and it took me a while to get it to tap in there. So I used the uh, mounting hardware that came with the AMS upper adjustable control arms because the factory one was too big to slide within within the control arm when it fit through there. But I just reused the factory front one. I uh, thought it was just nicer made, a little beefier. Well, here's an up close look at it, guys. It's all installed. Both sides are done, and uh, I did some painting in between, or not some painting, but just some metal repair, so I got this 
uh, ground it in the metal, put the VHC rust converter on on both sides. So that needs to dry for 24 hours. So I'm going to prime it and paint it. And then move on to reinstalling the suspension as well as the brakes and the brake lines. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And like always, see you tomorrow.